Greetings. It's time to share some thoughts and a cup of tea together. So how much do we need to play? I think we need to play a lot just to get some balance in our lives. The summer's come and gone and winter's kind of right here. I mean, we can see this is a negative, which I used to do, but now I like the idea of change. The very definite change of seasons. I get a feeling of looking forward to summer. So the changes at this time of the year for me are reflected in the glorious colours of the leaves as they change to every colour under the sun. But we can hang on to a little bit of the holiday feeling or summer, whichever you like, by injecting some play into our lives. We think that play is exclusively for kids um, and that as adults we should behave sort of responsibly. Yes, we should, but that needs to be balanced out with um, some play and keeping our inner child alive and cooking. There's research that shows that playing can help relieve stress and improve brain function. Um, and help trauma recovery and also improve relationships. So what is play? It can be board games, it can be crafting, it can be a walk in nature, it can be mom and dad dancing around the house or um, singing in a choir. And if you're not sure what brings out the play side of you, ask yourself what you enjoy, even if you're not good at it. And by taking the pressure off yourself that you have to excel at something can make this activity a good play choice. As it will allow you to experience it in the moment instead of striving um, to produce an excellent bit of so-called play. And for instance, if you choose to draw or paint something and have been previously put off because you think you're not um, good at it and everyone else is much better just have a go <clears throat> have a go at um, starting off on a canvas and then turning it sideways and upside down every 20 minutes I've done it and it's absolutely amazing what comes out so give it a go but just remember not to obsess about it because then it stops being play you're doing play for play's sake and the joy of it. For instance, if it's your thing to go walking in nature and you plan this as your play activity, if you have your pedometer attached to you, then it's not play. It is play when you're enjoying the colours of nature and feeling the air against your skin and looking at all the lovely views around you and hearing the bird song and just generally enjoying feeling what it's like walking just noticing that your body is well and healthy and these play activities need to have no end goal other than the joy of it from moment to moment so make plans yes plans to play playtime needs some structure just like planning a walk you need to plan a route and dare I say without your pedometer. That's why vegging in front of the television doesn't count because that's got no plan attached to it. So don't confuse playfulness with the lack of planning. If you plan to play alongside people like singing in a choir, so much the better. So try being that small child again, get that inner child out, kicking and alive. And remember that play is just that, it's play. So happy planning for your play.